Hello everybody, Brian here from Quant Lab. Today I'm going to be talking about further candlestick patterns which are reliable. I'm going to show you some coding techniques to implement them, show you some of the results that I've seen, or well, just really one time, but um, supposedly these are accurate. Anyways, it all started here on this blog post I just posted earlier today called Market Reversal with Marabuzu uh, Line and Adam and Eve. Now, originally I was going to code up Adam and Eve, but when I started doing some research on the Marabuzu, probably got that wrong, uh, it's really a candlestick pattern. Fortunately, I've got a candlestick pattern that I introduced with the moving averages, and then I've played around with a 30-day, so by accident, I was able to find that. Now, because to, to code this one up, which is, again, a candlestick pattern, I just decided to play the lazy game and just eliminate the Adam and Eve, because I'll show you the amount of um, patterns that you can get with TALib that work with uh, a t uh, package, a Python package called TALib. So if you want to know more about the Marabuzu, I've got lots of links here. Name of the article again is Market Reversal Marabuzu, M-A-R-U-B-O-Z-U, Line and Adam and Eve. So here's the patterns. They're all candlestick. Um, and I even got a video on coding it up. So I'm going to show you that in a minute, uh, continuing along. So if you want to watch that video, go ahead and understand the basics of it because I'm just going to show you the additional code to get that started. So once I started looking at that, I posted another article later uh, later today. Um, let me just show you here. That article is called Reliable Candlestick Patterns for TA Lib. That's TA hyphen lib pattern recognition acts as a bullish reversal. So I've gone through a lot of them. So if you follow this link right here, which is TA lib, and this is specific for pattern recognition functions using candlesticks. So I went through a bunch of these, and fortunately I found a website called the Pattern Site. And what it does, it goes through all the different candlesticks patterns out there and the majority of the indicators uh, that are here are on there. I've also skipped a bunch that don't seem to be all that reliable. So I condensed it all into a, into a uh, you know, good or bad, is it reliable, is it, does it frequently happen? This guy went to, to great lengths to explain studying over 4 million bars, what works, what doesn't. Um, he also gives you frequency rank, overall performance rank out of 101 different candlesticks, da-da-da-da. But um, I was just more interested in how frequent it was and if it's reliable or not. And he also talks about if it's good for a bull market or if it's good for a bearish continu 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 continuation, uh, bullish or bearish reversal as well. So there's various um, ones I've gone through and I've listed them. So... When you look at my source code, as I said, I'm just continuing along all the different um, patterns. Uh, these candlestick patterns I've added. So if you watch that video, you'll know I've built up a regular data frame. And then what I've done is no different than with the, the Marabuzu, the original one in that video. Um, I added all the other ones that are fairly reliable. It's not a lot, but these are the ones that are supposed to be highly rela reliable over 60%, some of them are as high as 80%, so when you run it, so all we're doing is just doing, the, as before, the TA lip, but we're just calling the different um, candlestick pattern as listed here in the TA lip, and that's all we're really doing, it's that simple. But the other video will explain how to get to that point. So when you look at uh, the output, um, these are all the different uh, columns. But when you go into the different results, we have some data uh, for the negative 100 and 100. Now, I also want to highlight in my earlier link uh, under the um, market reversal of Marabuzu line and Adam and Eve, I found a little posting uh, right here with my work. It seems that it return codes meaning this. Uh, 100, negative 100 denotes a bearish tri-star pattern where the middle candle is above the other two and conversely a plus 100 
denotes a bullish tri-star pattern where the middle body is below the adjacent ones. Um, so that's pretty all you get is either a negative 100 or 100. So it kind of works, but reliability is another story. So the one I want to really focus on that seems to generate the most and that was called a rickshaw man. These are just ex examples. So here's the uh, rickshaw man. And you can see here it uh, sends back uh, 100, a pos all these positive bullish signals. Okay, well, along here. So what I have is, again, fortunately using the same data source, I have the actual um, chart here of the um, over the last 30 days. So let me just pull up the notes that I have um, of all the different uh, patterns. So if I just look up Rickshaw man and pull up the discussion on the pattern site.com on Rickshaw man, here's what it says. Rickshaw man is similar to a high wave, except it's a doji, blah, 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 blah. Uh, X continuation 51% of the time. My tests show that it acts as a continuation pattern 51% of the time. It's a frequency rate of 55%, overall performance 35. Um, so it has different scenarios and when it will work. So he's, again, this is why I like this uh, website. It goes to great lengths to describe when it works. So um, I need to study this further. And then hopefully, based on this person's experience where he's even got a book, um, uh, yeah, it, he's got a great leg. So I'm going to use that experience uh, from it. So in a nutshell, this is what a rickshaw man looks like under these conditions. Just a simple uh, cross uh, right here, this one right here. So that's what it looks like. So when you go back to the chart that I've generated here, We've got a bunch, right? So we got one here, I think. Uh, these are similar rickshaw man uh, candles. So I can verify that. So as I said, here are the, the rickshaw man, uh, this column right here. So if we go backwards, we've got the third last. So let's line this up properly here. So if I count, we got one, two, three. So we know that's accurate. And then we got one, two, three more. So we go one, two, three. Here's another one. This definitely works. This works somewhat, I would think, if it's if it's these descriptions. And then we're gonna go back four more bars. So from here, one, two, three, four. Maybe the uh, yeah. So actually, it's these two, right? And then the other. And then we skip this one, and we have this one. This one, I'm not sure why that's not a rickshaw or this one as well, but there is some validity to it. Now, the other one I want to talk about is what I've talked about before, but I think I can show that. That's the Marabuzu um, Mora. Uh, let me show you. Mora. Uh, there we go. So this one, so this is medium reliability. So if I go look for it, uh, what's a site called? Pattern site. Uh, pattern site. Mira. Oops. So I know I'll screw up the spelling on it. Okay, let me just uh, get Google loaded up there. So this is two different ones, the white and black, but negative and positive returns are probably going to be either or. So here's the frequency. It happened 27% of the time. I don't know if that's 27% or out of a million. Again, medium reliability at 56%, and it's a continuation. Continuation. There we go. I said it right. Uh, continuation um, pattern. And... When we look at the Marabuza, there might be some recent ones I can look at. 
Um, more, uh, I think, uh, Marabuzu. Here we go. Marabuzu. So we have, pull up that chart again. Now, according to this, this looks to be a little more uh, reliable, I would think. One, two, three, four. So we go one, two, three, four. And then this one would signal a potential, a potential downfall, which it kind of did. So let's just take, get more of the details. So it's just one line. Well, let's see what it looks like. White candle has no shadows. Is that the case? That means it has no wicks. Oops. Where's my preview? There we go. So, one, two, three. Yeah, that's true. It has very, very little. Um, actually, it might be a tiny one there, but that's pretty accurate um, on that description. Um, if you have it naked, then this is an example. It appears as a white blob on the charts and it acts as a continuation. 56% of the time, type is what I call near random, which, yeah, that's true. So there's no wicks. Best means the highest rated of the four combinations of bull bear market up down breakouts. Best means the highest rated of the four combination of bull bear market up down breakouts. So it's a fairly, well, it's a mediocre. You know, it's, there's good detail in here how this works. The frequency is high as uh, 27, where 1 is the most popular. No trouble finding this candle in a historical price pattern. Overperformance is a distant 71, where best is 1. Thus, do not look for price to break out and make a huge move. That could happen, but the odds are against it. The best average move after a breakout belongs to a bear market where price drops 4.79%. Consider moves of 6% or more to be wonderful. So this falls short. Best performs 26%, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to read it further. Um, this one we are looking, probably would want the black Marabuzu. Actually, that's the down one we're looking at. So I'm sure... Yeah, it's the same, I would think. Anyways, so there's that one, and then there's another one. So we got a bull one, two bars, and then the, then the Marabuza line. So let's check out that. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four. That, so that's the Marabuza. Be one, two. So I'm a little confused here. So this would be it. One, two. And then, again, there's no wicks here. And uh, let me just see what we have here. So, if I'm not mistaken, this would be the Marabuzu. We have two, two, zero, one, two. So this green one would be the Marabuzu one. Very interesting. has no wicks. And that's two for two. So maybe that's why they may work I don't know but I need to dig deep but there's definitely something going on here and this is the one I I highlight but I have the ability to as you can see how easy it is to code it up with TA lib there may be some accuracy with some of them but uh, this one I have to study it more to be sure but uh, I find that quite interesting two for two the other one uh, the rickshaw is a little more questionable but uh, definitely this Marabuzu still holds for now. But I'll have to, like I said, I have to look at more. All right, hopefully I'll help you out. And uh, you can go through all those articles that I pointed out on the blog. And uh, go through this uh, um, website here at thepatternsite.com uh, if you're interested in this sort of stuff. But uh, if you can find stuff that actually works as a market reversal, hey, why not uh, use it and uh, improve your trading for, obviously, better profit. Over and out. Later. Talk to you later.